Hello everybody, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family. How are we doing today? Hope you're well. Well, I'm back for another tutorial in Railcraft. Um, the last one I did was about signals. This one I'm going to look at levers, points, or switch tracks, and also the signal controller block. Now, let's get started. These are points and levers. So these are really nice, simple things. So, um, what these are used for, these are for switching tracks. So if you um, want to change direction but without breaking the track, you use these. So for example, I've got two, there's two types which you can switch. You've got the Y track, which you can sort of see why it's called a Y, because it's in the shape of a T. See what I did there? Um, and also you've got the standard switch point track. So with these, you can either go straight on, which is in the position it is now, because of that little track isn't connected to that so you continue straight on or you can flick it and you go left now you can't right click these and you can't use the crowbar which you get with railcraft to switch them if you use the crowbar it changes direction so as you can see with this one if I was coming from you can uh, if I'm coming from this direction you got the choice of going left or right if you're coming from this direction you can only go straight on because it won't change to go that way so it's nice and simple and you use the crowbar to right click and it swaps the direction so how do you change these now this is when something called a lever or a lever if you're American comes into play now you can find these under the transportation uh, category and you've got three types now I'm not going to go into the, ro into the routing or the routing switch motor because it gets really complicated and I'll probably do another video on routing uh, but you've got the switch motor and you've got the switch lever now, um, so they're both switches and they're both um, uh, point levers basically. So we're going to look at both of them and exactly what they do. They're really nice and simple and they're quite easy to make. So let's have a quick look at these. So switch lever is made by a lever, a piston, so apparently rose red is really important and so is bone meal and the ink sack for the black in the middle and you've got an iron ingot in there. Now for the uh, point motor, slightly more complicated because it's got the receiver circuit in it um, and that's just made from a repeater with some wool, gold ingot, slime ball for some reason and some redstone and lapis lazuli. So, um, let's, so once you put down a lever uh, you can quite simply like a lever in normal Minecraft uh, you can just right click it and it changes. So this is the Y point, so you can see, like that, which is the default option, you can see that it's going that way, because that one's connected and that one's not. And also you can look at the point and it has like a, if you look carefully, like a little arrow. So it has a little red arrow pointing that direction, if I right click it, it points the other direction like that. The white also shows you what direction you're going if you're coming from that direction. So if I right click it, you are uh, yeah so it's going to be going that direction so it doesn't matter which way you are the white doesn't change you'll probably end up going that direction of course if you come in this direction it's changed you'll probably derail because you're not going that way not like real life uh, the normal uh, switch track works pretty much the same way except for it ha only it doesn't have a Y section it's a uh, more of a sideways T option so it's um, so you can either go that way or straight forward and same with this way you can either go uh, so you're either coming towards you or going right or you're going or it's just straight through track now you can look again on the little uh, colors on the top so if it's white you're going straight through if it's red you're going left and the same with this one if it's red that's going to be a straight track that's where it gets confusing this white is coming towards you. Okay? Yeah, it's quite confusing there. Okay, now we've sorted out the levers. So they're the simple ones which you can do from the basic get go. So if you make a simple circuit, use those because you can walk along manually and change points yourself. Now, if you want to also make stuff and make stuff more um, complicated, now I'll go into uh, a further video on how to use these in a real scenario kind of thing. But these are the switch motors. And what these are is they respond to signals. So like we saw in the last um, video, we saw that the signals change. Uh, these work identically, but depending on what colour they are, the signals, is what state the track is, what state the point is in. So you can't right-click this and change it. 
when you right click it comes with switch on aspect now this is what you want it to switch on so um, it has five states so I'll show you the five states here these are well technically four states what a signal can be in um, so you can have green blinking amber amber blinking red red or off so I'll come back to show you those in a bit but yeah so they're the five states and the only thing it doesn't have is off technically it does because it has that um, but yes so to change this um, so for example uh, when it's green I want them to go straight through here but let's say there's a cart on the line and it's sitting there oh no it's now red so so it's now supposed to switch on red okay maybe I haven't linked them properly let me just grab the linking tool okay so if I put a car here there we go so I hadn't linked it so you link it with the uh, signal tuner by right clicking the signal you want it to link to and then the point <coughs> oh, sorry so once you've done that so you can see that I put it on it switches take it off it goes back now uh, it has many different states so it's got the yellow so remember we looked at yellow it's for when the cart's going away from you so if you want um, if you're going down the track and you know you're going to be faster than a uh, cart which is in front of you so you've got a locomotive um, then you can maybe have like a passing track so if it's going away from you it's yellow you have a passing track which opens up and you can go shoot down past it and come back in so that's good. Now, um, I'm not entirely sure where the blink yellow and the blink red comes from. The blink red, um, I know, happens when you haven't linked the two, but blink yellow, I haven't come across yet. Now, I might have to do a bit of reading on when that happens, but I haven't come across it yet. Now, you can also lock these, so that means that um, you can lock it to make sure that only you or the owner and an op can um, change it. So you don't want anybody, if you're multiplayer, you don't want anyone else configuring with your railway then you can lock it so that's the motor really nice and simple so you've got to have some form of block signals or just a signal for it to link to to change it now we move on to the um, signal controller now you might be thinking but these are changing colors even though they don't have blocks I know I'm using the distance signals so as I showed you in the last one they can be placed away from the uh, railway and they can um, mirror what another signal is doing but they can also uh, be manually changed via these which are signal controller boxes now um, these have two things so they have default aspect so that's what it shows when it hasn't got a redstone input and it's also got a, rest, a redstone aspect so when it's got a redstone signal it changes colour to whatever it is so on this one it goes from green to red when I change things you can change, you can set it to be any colour you want, and they don't have to be linked for a railway. So let me just show you um, this one. So the default is off, and the redstone aspect is green. So if I flick this lever, it goes to green, and it goes off. So um, these are a great way to uh, add it as like traffic lights or. I don't know, something like that would be really quite cool to um, see what you guys do with this. Um, I did a little mock demonstration here. So this is something I've quickly come up with. This is like a um, uh, a racing kind of start line. So you see on like the Grand Prix or I don't know, um, that sort of thing or uh, NASCAR that you guys have in America. So uh, you have the three red lights at the top and then it flicks down to green. So. Uh, this is also to show you that you don't have to have the signal controller near the signal like these I've got it underneath oh that'll be my dog so you've got uh, signals uh, on top so they don't show it like that uh, but you've also so this shows you that they are nowhere near so let me just flick it and show you exactly what these do red 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 green nice and simple and I can turn it off so um, I'd love to see what you guys do with this and I'll be back with another tutorials on bits of um, uh, railcraft but let me just quickly talk you through this so it's a simple circuit that goes to each controller box and then the three green ones at the end and then it loops around to break the redstone to the red ones really nice and simple but uh, from me Scotty today and the rest of the Blue Coconut family 
Um, I wish you luck playing around with this mod, and I hope that this tutorial has helped you with something that you were doing. Um, so I'll see you guys next time in the next tutorial. Bye! <laughs>